So you, so you want to learn the stock market? Maybe you've seen it somewhere. Maybe your old friend just talked about it. But either way, you're here. Let's see. What is the stock market? Easy. It's where you buy stocks. Stocks are a share of a company that is public. Public meaning it's listed on the stock market. Did you get that? Let me repeat. Stocks are like a small piece of a pie, and the big pie is the company. Not all companies share their stocks, only companies that are publicly listed, like in PSE or the Philippine Stock Exchange. There's different more around the world. Anyway, there's two ways to be involved in it. Invest it or trade it. There are those who invest in it, and that's okay. But for the small guys who can't wait 50 years and have a big capital? <clears throat> like how we all started in ZFT. We just trade it. Investing is basically buying a share of the company you like, then holding on to it. It's like marriage. You get to know the company intimately before you uh, commit to it. Trading, on the other hand, well, you can say it's more fast-paced. Once it's no longer working out, you gotta get out. To be honest, sometimes we could be trading a particular stock, and they're all just names. We don't know what that company does. All we know is we like the way the price is moving. You know what they say, don't fall in love with a stock. The problem with investing is after waiting for so long, you could have picked wrong, or that one single year can wipe out five years of growth in your portfolio. This doesn't bother the big boys. I mean, they can cash out somewhere else. But for us, we gotta be smarter than that. We need to learn how to dance in this market the way we are designed to do so. You could be trading like a fund manager if you don't have that much funds, no? We move different. So you gotta be tactical. Understand what you are. ZFT is a tribe of traders who uses the ZFT system. Boy, we got the best ones. We got champions and leaders. If you want results, this is where you go. That's why you belong here. But we got no time for people who love to pull each other apart. If you're into that, we ain't the right fit. If you're a complete newbie and you want to learn trading for free, like opening an account, reading price charts, and all the important and basic stuff, there's Trading for Rookies Facebook group. Head over there. But if you're familiar with the ways of the market, here's programs we got for you. Anyway, we're sure you got questions, so slide over our DMs and let's figure out how you can get started to this wonderland of money and how you can join the tribe. Gusto mo ba mag-invest sa stock market pero hindi mo alam kung papaano? We got you! Join our monthly online class now and pwede ka na mag-start mag-invest for as low as 10,000 pesos. This is totally free for everyone. Start your investment journey with us. Click down below to register for free. All right, good afternoon, guys. Welcome again to FGD charting session with to Trade Asia and ZFT. So, um, can you guys hear me clearly? Can you type in check sa comment section, Jan? If uh, na niyo na ako, I'm actually using a the mobile data sa dito na since the internet connection here is not so stable sa place where I'm staying. So, Tech, can you hear me clearly? Can you confirm? If okay. Hmm. Clear. All right. All right. 
Very good. So, uh, shout out muna tayo ngayon sa mga viewers natin for today. We have uh, Etse. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, andito din si Carl. Uh, Tristan, what's up? Uh, Leovin, hello, sir. Good afternoon. Kent, good afternoon. Andito din si Sam. Uh, we have uh, Ronaldo, uh, one of our trading leaders in Trading Republic. We have Rochelle. Um, we also have Samson. Uh, shout out to John Mon, who's watching us uh, sa YouTube. And then we have Boss Oliver Austria, listening while on a bullet train. So, saan kayang bansa to si, ano, si Boss Aus uh, Oliver? Sa Japan ba to? Kasi baka, bakit may bullet train? So, um, we have Lawrence as well. Uh, Boss Eman, good afternoon. Christopher, check, check. Uh, we have Christian watching us uh, on YouTube. Um, sino pa bang hindi ko na si Carl okay si Sam dito Mr. Dale Miranda the uh, the all loving uh, husband of Madam Madam Lerps so good afternoon sa iyo boss Dale uh, dito din si John Harry uh, si Kyle what's up um, Kathy is here as well Paul maayong hapon sad uh, we have Patrick uh, Mayet Mond um, dito din sa Sakata, Gintoki, watching us from YouTube. Christopher, hello. Rich, ang dami natin na. <laughs> Email, we have Jason. Ayan, ubusin ko kayo lahat, guys. Pado Padrones, good afternoon. Uh, baka yung LRT boss, bullet train. <laughs> Sabi ni Paul, baka bullet train na daw yun. Okay, si uh, Adriel, nandito din. Andrel, sorry. We have RM, good afternoon. Dexter, what's up? Um, Zam, all right. So shout out to you. We have John Adrian as well, and uh, we have Rick. So guys, good afternoon to you I hope you guys are doing okay there. So kita niya naman sa background ko, no? wala ako sa Zen place ko. Wala ako sa, alam yung lighting ko dito, medyo hindi maganda. Anyways, um, so... Uh, I'm not in ano, my uh, home. Uh, I'm actually here in Manila. I'm staying near uh, Moa. So I just attended a concert uh, sa Moa Arena last Saturday with some of the traders, um, Christian traders. So we attended like a Planet Shakers concert. So shout out sa mga andun din, no? Um... It's been quite a while that I've I was able to travel here. Kailan ba ko last nag travel dito sa Manila? Mga two months ago ata. <laughs> Bago lang pala no. But frequent ako mag-fly in dito sa Manila. So hopefully if the situation gets better and I think it's better na cuz I can feel the heavy traffic here already. <laughs> um hopefully no we could we could create like a a public um event. That uh, so that I can see you guys personally. All right, so let's get to it. Let's go with the PSE. What's happening right now? So looking at the uh, PSE, no. Um, I love trading. Sabi ni Benji, I love you too, sir. <laughs> All right. So looking at the looking at the the PSE uh, right now, uh, medyo nagkakaroon tayo ng uh, sideways movement no coming from a downward move so um nalagyan na natin ng support level to we're hoping that uh, mag ZS siya and then PSE would be below prices i was actually hoping that it can there is a continuation on a downward move sa September 7 i was hoping na mag-break niya tong support na to and retest around 6300 but it's the uh, the market is telling us uh, quite uh, different right now Nagkakaroon tayo ng another run, uh, another bounce from this area, and um, I think we're on, we're seeing a positive side sa market right now. Maybe it can just consolidate uh, somewhere around uh, six thousand eight hundred sixty, and it might uh, break out soon at that level. So mga so next level na tinitignan natin of technical levels na tinitignan natin would be at this level over here. So, yan. Yon. 
So that's basically a confluence of the previous support over here. No? Yeah, that's a, that's a range. So that's not an exact uh, line, guys, no? but that's a basically a range of the resistance that we're looking at. Um, oy, sorry, hindi pa pala ako naka-share screen, guys. Ano ba yan? Nagsasalita ako dito na walang share screen. All right, Pasensya na po. Masyadong excited, no? Hindi pala nag-share screen. Ayan, okay na ba, guys? Can I'm now sharing my screen. Can you confirm if, uh, tech, if okay na ba? Okay, very good, very good. Sorry, pasensya na po, mga boss. Um, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. All right. Yon. So as what I'm saying, no. Um, currently, uh, I was hoping that um, six thousand five hundred would break down. This there would be a follow through, pa baba dito and retest maybe around six thousand four hundred to three hundred. That was actually the thing that I was hoping for. Um, but um, currently, hindi yan yung pinapakita ng market right now. Uh, ng bonds here and. Um, we might see a breakout of six. If this still, if the movement still continues, we might see a breakout of six thousand eight hundred fifty level. So minar kahana natin yan, guys. So hindi na natin ididilit yan. Lalagyan na natin yan ng mga anik anik. Okay. So this is what we're looking at at this level. This is basically um, your resistance zone. Okay. So yan yung mga yun yung uh, kalaban natin. Yan yung si uh, Jan si Sinsuwi nakaabang, guys. So kailangan mariga ni Eugene yan para uh, bumulusok yung market natin at hopefully naman no na we'll have a a good uh, last quarter no, last quarter ng um, this this year 2022. And I'm actually looking at a positive side. Um I'm actually very bullish on 2023 and 2024. So I hope um the market will give us a bang this the end of uh, this uh, quarter. So ayun. So that would be um the uh, the the thing that we're looking at. And as you can see um on a technical pattern we're seeing a potential head and shoulders pattern. So this is basically the um inverse head and shoulders. So, so this is basically the left shoulder we have the the head and uh, the right shoulder. So we might see a breakout here soon. All right. Now, speaking of the market, let's go ahead and take a look at stocks that has uh, been strong um, in the market. So, medyo nag-shopping uh, tayo ng mga first tranche natin no? sa, 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 ano, sa market. So, let me open up our 2 Trade Asia account. Taka lang, login ko muna before ko, before ko, ano guys, okay? Before ko share screen. Kasi baka magkagulat na naman. Alright. Uh, where is it? I'm sharing my screen again. Asa na yung 2-trade account natin, guys? Alright. So, ayan. Ayan na po. Tama ba tong share screen ko? Okay. Good job. Okay. So si CFT na namimigay na naman ng Bitcoin sa comment section. <laughs> Patanggal naman yan. <laughs> Alright, huwag kayong maniwala sa mga ganyan guys. Ha? Wala nang libre ngayon. Ako po. Wala nang libre ngayon. Alright, so let's take a look at our portfolio. Um, this is again to trade um, account. So we're currently actually down as of the moment. Uh, I started this uh, around the 500 or 400 something and then i went to as high as like uh, 515,000 currently um some of the stocks that i've traded um hindi tumula, like sec we have sec uh we have um i sold our balai uh, with a decent gain uh, but got crashed um with uh, some of the stocks that i bought uh, previously so um, currently, the amount, uh, the total amount is uh, 489,000. So we're just down at around 1 point something percent. So not bad. 
um so ngayon ang mga ginagawa ko is uh, looking at uh, blue chips no uh, medyo if you can see uh, sa hawak natin we have uh, Jollibee we have MBT we have SSI which is not a blue chip but uh, that's the first uh, st- this is the only stock that I have right now na hindi siya blue chip and then we have uh, URC as well so I'll, I'll be looking at this so I bought three of them today today lang ako na mili because I was not trading last week um the only uh stock that I bought is just SSI uh was not able to ride the breakout of ABBA since um ano bang nangyari no? I forgot why but uh, other accounts I have ABBA but in this specific specific account hindi natin nabili si uh, si ABBA all right and um we're looking at we're going to be looking at some stocks as well but let me let me uh, go ahead and share uh, my my screen um and see what anong itsura ng mga stocks na to, why do we have it and as you can see the allocation is very very conservative you're not seeing uh, you're, you're not actually seeing a very aggressive na allocation dito sa mga stocks na hawak ko no uh, tag 80,000 lang 78,000 the, the highest one is like 115,000 so we're not going uh, bomba um, on this type of trades because um, I'm not yet seeing uh, leaders um, appearing on my watch lists. So, um, yun. So, I just want to be transparent of what we are seeing right now and hopefully we'll have better trades in the next few um, weeks. All right. So, baka kalain, akalain, puro na tayo charting dito hindi naman natin din trade no meron din trade natin yan guys so just being transparent grabe talaga to si ZFT bakit kaya hindi na ubos to mga ganito guys no oh no naghang wait lang guys naghang po yung narinig pa ba ako guys Gusto mo ba mag-invest sa stock market pero hindi mo alam kung paano? We got you! Join our monthly online class now and pwede ka na mag-start mag-invest for as low as... Alright! So, shoutout na naman sa ating internet, guys. <laughs> shoutout na naman sa ating internet na napakagaling. Naghang po tayo. Nako po. Nako po. Nako po. Okay na ba, guys? Are, are, are we good? Tech? Narinig na ba ako? Nako, nakakainis pag ganito guys, no? Ang hirap talaga pag wala sa bahay. Ang hirap pag you're traveling. So, mahilig tayo mag-travel, travel guys. So, I apologize sa internet nating uh, sobrang galing. Let me uh, share my screen again. Alright, there you go, there you go. Okay la. Sige. Let's uh, take a look at some stocks that I bought. Uh, we have MBT. MBT here. So, looking at uh, MBT. Ito yung itsura ni MBT, guys. So, uh, financial market is actually uh, quite good. No? So, we have a very good consolidation over here. And then, we are seeing a, a very simple... Uh, breakout breakout trade so the ap is around 54 actually eod talaga so uh, that is basically the trade idea coming from as you can see we are coming from this downward move over here ni mbt no and then karon tayo ng breakout from that downward move all mas are below prices already and then we have a tight consolidation and a breakout over here. So um, expecting to get around 8 to 10% on this move, ni, uh, MBT. So target prices would be just around 58 to around 60. 
So ho hopefully, uh, we, we will be able to get that uh, that move, no? So, yun lang yung tinitignan natin as of the moment. So, looking at it, MBT, it's a breakout from its weekly resistance. So, again, all MAs are below prices. Volume accumulation is there as well. So, um, so far, so good tayo chat. So, we have this one. We have this one. And then we have this one over here. So, so far, so good with uh, MBT. So, that's the only reason why I have it. Uh, we have a breakout from a technical pattern. Um, let's go with uh, GAFC, no? I first spotted Jollibee when it broke out from this level over here. So same thing with uh, what we had with MBT. We have basically a downward movement over here, right? Broke out from this level and then consolidated. So I started buying JFC or Jollibee here at this level uh, after the breakout here at this level. So I started buying there. Some of my shares here, and then right now I also bought another share. So cut loss would be basically if it does not hold. So very tight. If that 10 ME does not hold, then that would be our cut loss point. Okay. All right. Uh, next, uh, uh, the next would be URC. We're looking at URC. So had to see URC medyo. Nagkakaroon, nagkaroon na tayo ng anal analysis dito kay URC no? after a very good cap and handle pattern. Uh, the market gave us a, a, a tight consolidation. So, sa mga hindi pa masyadong magaling mag-chart pattern dyan. So, that is the... Ayan, ayan po yung pattern na tinitignan natin as of the moment. So, after a good cup and handle pattern over here, Diba? Nagkaroon tayo ng tight consolidation and wala. Nag-breakout na siya, Beshi. Pwede tayo natin ng puti ito. Ayan. Para kitang-kita. Alright. So, um, breakout from this level. So, same thing. We're looking at a squeeze of around uh, 5 to maybe 10% from, from this current move. So, hopefully, magkaroon tayo ng continuation. So, mga blue chips, no? Mga blue chips yung um, meron tayo ngayon. So, may tanong si Fritz Angeles. Uh, Naka-risk off ka coach. So, um, very defensive because I haven't seen any market leader yet aside from ginagawa ni Aba. So, that's the reason why um, and hindi ko masyadong na-volume man si Aba no, on its breakout. I was hoping for a good retracement, but tuloy tuloy na siya. So, other than ABBA, I could not see any potential leaders yet. So, that's the reason why I spread out yung allocation natin on different types of stocks. But once I was, I will be able to look at uh, potential leader, that's the time that uh, medyo nung mag risk on tayo. Um, but general market condition, I think this is a risk on market. Um, a lot of stocks has been going up slowly so but not very aggressive yet so risk on ako in terms of um, trading a lot of stocks but um you know once the market turns sour i'm gonna be auto automatically be defensive so right now i'm i'm okay trading a lot of positions all right so let's take a look at um, ano pa ba yung binili, binili natin last time. So we have uh, GF, JFC, MBT, URC, SSI. Let's take a look at before we visit um, Aban and all that stocks. So SSI, I bought here at September 7. I'm still holding. I was hoping to have a breakout today. But um, I think ginagawa niya is confirmation. Um, and see if there would be a follow through in the next few days. So right now, chill chill lang tayo ngayon. All right, so those are the main stocks that I have right now. Um, so I'll be sharing some field trades as well. So here, this is an example of field trade, like I've mentioned earlier. Uh, nagkaroon tayo ng um, nagkaroon tayo ng buy point, no? Ki SEC here at this level, September six. So we bought back here and then nagkat tayo dito sa September seven. Alright, and then right now, hindi na natin tinitignan as of the moment si 
Semerara. It's, uh, it's trying to make a consolidation. So the reason why I'm still looking at this guy over here, it's because, of course, um, potential pa siya na mag -rest and maybe we'll have a consolidation in the next or continuation in the next few months or weeks maybe. But right now, this is not the top priority anymore. All right? So ABBA. So next, ito, si ABBA. Si ABBA talaga yung uh, very malakas, no? Looking at it, the consolidation of ABBA from, coming from the breakout here. As you can see, may breakout tayo, tas tuloy, 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 tuloy. So this, we have an anomaly of volume over here. Huge volume, but a low, um, a low, uh, what do you call this? Candle, no? So alam na mga taga Trading Republic, how do we read the volume? So right now, nagkaroon tayo ng pause candle, right? And looking at it, um, a lot of people actually says that uh, this is going to be the last hura ni ABBA, no? So I'm not gonna try to make any predictions. Um, but what you need to do is basically create your own bias. Ano ba yung magiging bias niyo moving forward dito sa stock na to? Right? Ano ba ang pinapakita ng stock? Is it look, giving you a weakness movement? Because if you're gonna ask me, I really don't know. No? I really don't know. To be quite honest, um, what I'm seeing is a stock that is very strong. What I'm seeing is a stock that is in its all-time high. I think all-time high, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. All-time high. And um, yeah, I'm just waiting kung ano yung magiging uh, galaw niya in the next few days. If we're gonna have a wild volatility sa pagbagsak niya, is the 10 MA gonna catch up um, and stuff like that. So right now, technical wise, I'm gonna I'm not gonna trade or I'm not gonna make um, you know my trading based from what I think, but I'll be basing my trading on what I see. All right. So and what I see right now, hindi pa siya bumabagsak. So, but um, to be quite honest, the movement here is a bit worrisome. Medyo, medyo. Uh, what I mean is that um, medyo hindi siya maganda yung run up niya here. Because supposed to be, if this stock is strong, dapat malalakas na kandila yung nakikita natin. But we're actually looking at this as a weakness, no? Especially this one. Um, so, yes, abangan ko na lang kung ano magiging movement niya from here. Some of my traders, trader friends are sold this stock already. But like I mentioned, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, you know, base my trading upon what I, what I think the movement will be, but what I see on the chart. All right. And, pero maybe they saw like uh, something on the chart that, 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 have sabi sila na pangit so. So I, I'm just waiting. I'm just basically waiting for this. All right. Okay. If and then scenario, guys, always remember if this happened, then I'll do this. All right. That's that's what we're going to do as a, as a trader. All right. So some stock that interests me is um, one here is um, Bloom. Looking at it, uh, all MAs are below prices already. Tignan niyo yung range ni Bloom, no? So, malaki yung base na ginagawa niya, guys, coming from this level over here. Ito yung pinaka-low niya. Right? And then, we have a high over here. Right? So, very wide range yung ginagawa ni Bloom. And right now, it's tightening as well. At tightening right now, we have a first RSI 70 breakout. And then, nagkakaroon tayo ng break from this level as well. So, this one is a technical breakout. So, we might see a continuation. Uh, movement and then might as well break at around 8 pesos. So, nakakaabang-abang yung kaabang abang yung uh, breakout ng 8 pesos niya. Some of my uh, students already have this one. Uh, I personally don't have this but I think uh, this is a good stock to watch. Alright, some basura stocks what I'm also seeing is this one, SSP. Uh, looking at it, um, nagkaroon na ako ng trigger from this point over here. Um, although medyo may manipis yung board lot ito, so be very careful in training this stock. Um, but technical wise, it's very good. Okay? So, yun. Take a look at Emmy. So, Emmy, look at the, looking at it, um, we have a breakout from this level over here. 
Ito yung unang breakout and then we have a box over here. Right? So we have a current uh, box right now. Um, this for me is a, uh, I believe this is a buy signal in, in my system. So ito, this is what uh, I call a swing buy. Um, my ticket idea for this is basically buy it near support. Cutlass would be below this one. And then hoping for a continuation. So right now, uh, parang I was thinking na gaganito si Emi, pero looking at it, you know, baka magkaroon pa ng trend siya. No? Mabagal-bagal. Alright, so we're good with that. Um, some stocks that I'm also looking at, another stock that I'm looking at is DNL. So DNL broke out from this level over here after me the retests and might uh, give us around 8 to maybe 10%. Uh, movement okay now just to in remind you guys that uh, these are not recommendations uh, stock recommendations these are basically my watch link watch listing process now I select stocks how I execute them um, but like we've mentioned um, always manage your risk if ever you would be trading this type of stocks. Again, we're not recommending you to buy anything. We're just showing you how um, our methodology works, how we do it, how I trade it. All right. But it's up to you to really learn more and study about it. All right. And be, by the way, before we continue, uh, if it calls is some mga new traders out there, na walang matinong broker or uh, very new does not have any broker account yet or maybe you want to transfer from one to another you can actually um, click on the link provided below um, you can open to trade asia account for only ten thousand pesos all you need to do is click on that link and then um, you will be able to get uh, the prime account already so conditional orders are there already um Kahit 10,000 lang yung account na ilalagay mo. So, ayun. The app is very good as well. So, hopefully that you would be able to, you know, um, get uh, or get, get open your account and get transferred na from from your broker to, to Trade Asia. So, there is that. And um, any TI students here, guys? Kaya pwede ba kayo mag-comment dyan? TI student? sa comment section dyan. Um, we have, I think, around 50 students who enrolled in our technical intensive program. And I hope that you are learning so many things in our program and um, enjoying the, the process. No? So hopefully you're there. Um, what's up sa inyo? Kita kits uh, tonight for another session. Ano ba yung session for tonight? I forgot. I think you are on to discussing... How to use Fibonacci in RSI, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and hopefully, you know, you're you're learning and again having fun. Ayun, si Rick Daniel, thank you very much, sir. Proud TI here, proud uh, August uh, 2022 batch uh, uh, technical intensive. All right. Si Rich din nag sit in daw, sabi niya. All right. Thank you, thank you. So, mga review, review, no? So, going back, um, we have SGP. SGP, ito yung sinabi ko, guys, na binenta ko na walang dahilan. Naalala nyo yun, guys? <laughs> na naalala nyo yun, guys? So, I bought somewhere here. And I sold, I forgot where they sold it, no? I think I sold it here. After two days. Diba? So, sabi ko, I'm looking at the uh, potential na lilipatan. But right now, SGP currently is uh, very uh, very much trending. Okay? So, be very careful lang because it, it, this is coming from a downtrend movement. No? Uh, sideways, pero galing siya. Marami siya kalaban on the left side. So, ayun. Technical-wise, goods naman siya. Okay, so my question dito si Sir Jason Kid Colobio. Sir, mandatory po ba ang mentorship? Okay, that's a good question. We actually have answered this for um for how many many for many times already. Uh, mentorship is not really a mandatory. Okay. 
a lot of traders that I know has been successful in the market um, without any mentors. All right. So sariling sikap on how they approach approach the market. Um, unfortunately, the problem there is this. Um, there's no guidance, so most likely masunog ka talaga. And a lot of traders that uh, I know, nagsunog talaga ng pera before they were able to learn. So that's number one, the risk that you need to take when you don't have any guidance. Second would be the learning curve. Um, um, a lot of, again, those successful traders that does not have any mentors that guide them took around minimum of five years before they were able to get the feel of the market and perfect or not really perfect, but at least, you know, uh, made their um, their uh, methodology in the market. So that that's the second one. Um, so this, those are the things that I, I see in a cons, no? Uh, when you don't have uh, any mentors, okay lang naman, YouTube, YouTube ka lang, wala problema dyan. There's a lot of uh, resources out there. You don't need to pay a thing. But, here's what I uh, learned from Jim Ron. No? Uh, um, in order for you to be better at something, look at look for someone who is already at the top on the career or industry that you're looking for. Uh, you're looking for, and then learn from that um, that person. So whether you buy books, enroll in any mentorship or course, just like being a doctor, engineer, you really need to take course to learn more about it. So it's the same thing with trading. If you learn, if you want to learn how to properly trade, then look for someone, um, a successful trader, um, or investor, or whatever. But you see that ito yung gusto ko mangyari sa buhay ko. And then learn from it. Buy books from them. Have them teach or whatever. So, um, yeah. For me, if I'm gonna go back, um, years back, I've been trading for almost uh, seven years already. If pababalikin na ko, I'd rather go with uh, mentorship rather than self, you know, self-education. Uh, so, Iwasunog pa, no? So hopefully, uh, you know, that that would uh, give you a different perspective. Sabi ni Rochelle, TI is the best investment decision you can give to yourself if you really love trading. I absolutely agree with that. Alright, Samson, inbox mo daw siya. <laughs> Grabe naman, ilang, ilang ganyan na ba yung na-block natin, guys? Bakit? Lagi pa rin nakaka-PM. Alright. Okay la. Sige. So let's take a look at um, other stocks. We have ASEX. Let's take a look at ASEX. Here. Okay. So looking at ASEX, uh, very clear that it's um, trending at uh, or trailing at 20 MA. So right now, this is a optimal swing buy. Cut loss mo below prices. Um, although I don't really like the long-term trend of ASEX. Um, in a short-term view, technical-wise, okay naman siya. Pero I, I, this would not be anymore my priority, even though trending naman siya. So ASEX is uh, still good. Um, we have uh, Aslag. This one is very interesting. This is an IPO stock. right? I was actually hoping na mag-retest siya around 1, 2, 4, 15. Hindi nagkakaroon tayo ng tight na price action. Uh, the only concern that I have here kay Aslag is, unlike Balay, hindi masyadong malakas yung volume niya. Sobrang manipis yung board niya. So that's the only concern that I have. Other than that, um, this one is very, very good. All right. So, Vanessa, good evening sa iyo. Sabi niya, MPI po, sir. Okay. Atin si MPI. So, MPI, wow. So, si MPI coming from a long consolidation, no? Nagkakaroon ng papitik-pitik. Papitik-pitik si MPI dito, guys. So, there's no huge volume coming up from this stock. But technical-wise, nagkakaroon tayo ng breakout coming from here. Okay. Coming from this level. So, tingnan natin, no? Kung magtutuloy yung breakout ni MPI. Um, if you are doing fundamentals, maybe you can search what's happening with this stock and stuff like that. Technical-wise, um, 
so far ko na, nagpapakita ng gila siya as of the moment. So long term, um, not so strong. But let's see if there is a continuation move. All right, okay la. Let's continue, guys. Let's continue. Espenek, please. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at Espenek. Yuck. Yuck. All right, so Espenek supposed to be, we have been watching this it's quite some time here, August. No, We're hoping for a breakout. After na announce nung SRO niya or uh, additional stock shares, uh, bumagsak siya guys no and we're looking at a potential volatility on September 15. Dito ilalabas yung additional shares ni Espinic no. And um tignan natin if anong mangyayari. Pero technical wise parang pangit talaga, di ba? Pangit niya guys. Below MAs, it's currently on sideways. Magiging interesting siya if it breaks at uh, 170 to 180. That. Dito na tayo mag-usap dito banda if this stock uh, stock goes like this. So dito na tayo mag-usap dyan banda. Right now, nah, it's a pass. I'm not gonna take chances in buying this stock. Technical wise, I don't know the fundamentals for this. I don't know what's happening. But uh, the, the, the price action is telling me that it's not yet good to invest any amount of money here um, if you are a trader. If you're an investor, that's a different story. I, I'm not sure what's the narrative here. But that's what that's what I'm seeing. Okay, so hopefully that would help you make your decision. Okay, so si Jen na nata nag Singapore ka ba sir? Dahil sa okil. <laughs> so nag Singapore oh, last month, uh, last two months wala. Uh, Singapore wala lang, bakasyon lang naman. So yung okil lang, galing talaga yun sa Singapore. Nakatawa lang guys. Yun lang naman. Nating ano dun. <laughs> So shout out to you, Janeline. I hope you're doing fine. Um, we have um, oh na, medyo ma blue chip blue chip to mga ano. So A6 is done, Paul. Um, Bloom is already done. I'll be looking at Aslag is also done as well. Let Let's go ahead and check Mac, because it's medyo trending. Ay medyo naging ano siya. Ayan si Mac. So si Mac medyo goods, no? So coming from this stock, nag breakout, nag consolidate, tapos nagaroon ng continuation. Okay. So Mac, so far maganda siya. Um, short term, uh, mid mid term, medyo hindi pa ako sold out, no? Hindi pa ako sold out. To be quite honest, guys, when I was screening and we were talking ni Tech, um. The only stock that uh, we have here now, 100 sure kami, na very, I mean, a strong leader is only ABBA. Si ABBA lang. Um, other than that, wala kami conviction, at least for me, I'm speaking uh, for myself, wala pa akong nakitang conviction by na can give me, eto yung magiging next leader. Wala pang, wala pang ganon. And that's the reason why I spread out yung allocation ko on different types of stocks. Um, so, tinitignan ko lang is their technical setups, but I could not see yet, at least uh, in my methodology, like what ABBA is doing na siya yung malakas and siya yung leader, unfortunately. Um, so, yun, that, that's basically the scenario that I have right now. Uh, na wala talaga akong nakita na any, like, you know, like before, we when we were, when I was able to spot Converge, parang buong parang buong portfolio mo pwede mong itaya doon or something like that no that's the conviction that I have when I was able to spot ASEN dito you can really put heavy allocation on these stocks the last time that I did this was uh, SEC and as you can see it failed so hindi na siya nagpatuloy and wala na ako nakitang ganon okay uh, wala na nakitang ganun. So, yun. That's that's where, where I, I'm in right now. So, relax, relax lang ako sa trading. Nag-trade pa rin ako but not so much heavy allocation on. And I'm trading different stocks at once too. Alright. So, some mining stocks that we'll also be looking at. APX. Let's take a look at this one. APX. Uh, APX is good. As you can see, uh, we have a breakout here. With a very good volume, RSA 70 as well. So a good consolidation above 174 is a buy. Cut loss would be at around below 170. 
So that would be my initial trade idea for that. Again, this is not a recommendation. This is basically how I view this stock. If ganun yung mangyayari. So APX is very good. Uh, DMC is actually strong compared to SEC. So after niya nag retest twice from here, magaroon ng run up. So um, APX, DMD ba? Let's take a look at. Um... Not yet. So the the this one is the area where it should break out at around 183. So yun yung natin kay APX. Okay. But of course the breakout buy is actually here no, in a daily chart. So ito lang yung mga triggers natin for long term um breakouts. So sabi ni RMM wide. Right, reversal market blue chips outlier. So as you can see, blue chip yung una. We got reminded that blue chips yung una na nagkakaroon ng reversals. So to be quite honest, MY, kahit technically wise, maganda siya coming from a breakout here in a retest. So um, the reason why, the reason lang uh, why I don't like this is, of course, the long term ano, movement. Short term, uh, pwede ka pa siguro maka-squeeze around 10 to 12% or maybe 15% if you're gonna trade this. Um, but I'm not sure with this, to be quite honest. Technical-wise, trade double naman siya. So, balay! It's very interesting kasi nabenta na natin to. Yuck! So, yuck si balay, no? Come after the movement here, na nabili natin, nabenta na natin, hindi na natin, pinanood si balay ever. So, never gonna be looking back at this stock up until it does not go above 10 and 20 MA. So, ML, uh, my question here, what is the maximum amount you can lose in the stock market? Or is that a personal question? So, I, I'm not sure if that is a general question for you guys. Um, but what is the maximum amount that you can lose? Um, sakto lang naman, guys. Sakto lang. But on my answer yan. Um uh let's say depende kasi yan sa ano may mental wallet mo eh. Uh, um if you have like a hot, like oh, you need to ask yourself guys no. Um gaano kalaki yung pag nawala na ako ng pera sa stock market, nabawasan yung uh, um portfolio ko na hindi ako makatulog sa gabi. So that would be basically your threshold na dapat hindi ka umabot ganun. So dapat maliit yung mga cuts na maliit yung mga cuts na mamatitake mo. Um, currently, my VAR is around ano ba? 40K. That's the one, I don't know, 50K pala yung one bar, VAR. But I tried as you get um, bigger sizes, medyo very conservative ka na on doing your allocation. As much as possible, tranches, if kaya, and uh, ayun, yun lang naman. Um, that's, that's, that's the bar that I have right now. So per trade, that's 50k with a 5M portfolio. Um, so, yeah. I just make sure that I don't get too much uh, losses para hindi masaktan. Um, Aslag, tapos na, Janeline. Uh, Converge, okay. Very, very, bakit kaya maraming tumitingin dito sa Converge? Guys, no. This is a yuck stock. This is not a good stock to invest at all. If you're not, if if you're an investor, I don't know about it, but looking at it, tignan nyo guys, bumabagsakyan, hindi ka magkakaroon ng pera dyan. So, I, I, I avoid stocks like this, guys. 100% avoid stocks like this. Gusto mo mas CHP ka? Gusto mo balikan si CHP? That's basically the movement of CHP. Diba? We're like something... We're like we're like here. Okay? We're like here. Level of breakdown. Diba? Tapos nag-rally. Tapos nag-breakdown ulit. So that's basically... We are right now with Converge. So delete it on your watch list. Do not buy it. Yan lang siguro yung recommendation ko na hindi mo bilhin. <laughs> Again, we don't recommend, but I recommend you not to buy that stock. Um, iwasan mo yan, guys. Iwasan yung muna yan. So, Wilcon, we have an analysis for this already. Wilcon is good. Um, 
tight consolidation. We're just waiting for a continuation breakout for this stock. Um, other than that, we're good. Um, wait me. Uh, view uh, UBP. So yeah, let's take a look at VL first before go to the end of stock. A uh, UL, okay, so quite interesting, but uh, not a priority as of the moment. Nakaroon tayo ng good volume, accumulation, and a run-up. But then again, um, kalaban ng the left side. Yun lang yung allergy ko, guys, eh, when, when looking at uh, reversal stocks, yung kalaban niya on the left side. Tradeable naman technical-wise, pero wala, wala dito yung puso ko. Um, we have UBP. Taking UBP, uh, like I mentioned, banking stocks are very good. Uh, UBPA, MBT, and yung mga magaganda as of the moment. So UBP, I think that's very good. It's 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 actually very good. Coming from a downward movement over here in a breakout from its consolidation right now, we might see a continuation. So good job. Aslag, tapos na. DNL, tapos na ba? DNL is also quite good. Ang daming blue chips na nagmove guys. Now, what does it mean? So, balikan natin si uh, DMC, no? Kasi may nilagay tayo dyan na note. Ay, DMC ba yan? Wait lang. Anong stock ba yun, guys? Nakalimutan ko. But like I mentioned, when the market is reversing, nauna mag-move our blue chips and then second liner. So, as you can see, GFC, uh, MBT, we have stocks like that. Um... Um, eto DMC, we have uh, DNL, those stocks na gumagalaw, those are uh, heavy caps. So, um, natural lang yan. So, dapat ang sumunod would be the second liners. So, we should be seeing second liners maybe or maybe third liners na nagkakaroon ng setup or good consolidation. To be quite honest, wala pa ako nakita, guys. Um, na sobrang, sobrang, uh, what do you call this? Um, I'll really bet heavy on it. So, wala pa akong ganang nakita. Maybe Monday. Monday is um, consolidation. Consolidating tightly here. So, ito mabigat na stock to. So, tignan natin if kaya niya i-break out to. So, we'll put alerts with he, for this stock. Uh, pag nadaanan niya yan, ayan, uh, baka magkaroon tayo ng magandang opportunity there. All right, so um, my question si Antonio Eitan. So when to sell ABBA? All right, that's a very good question. When do you sell ABBA? Or or let's make it a bit general. When do you sell a stock? What do you think, guys? When do you sell a stock? Now, if you cannot answer this question, number one is... You're not doing your homework. Okay? So, if you're asking questions like this, basically, you're not doing your homework yet. Um, it's so risky to, to be in an investment that you don't know a thing. Or maybe you don't know what you're doing. So, that's the reason why fear comes in. Fear comes in from, from, from not knowing what you're doing. So, in our methodology, we teach students to know kailan nagbebenta, kailan ka nagkakat loss, kailan ka pumapasok. So, I think that's a very basic thing to do. Um, and to answer the question, when do you sell? Specifically, ABBA. You sell it when your target prices gets hit or, we, or when your trail stop gets hit. Yun lang. Now, the question next would be, asan yung target prices mo? Saan mo nilagay? Or saan mo nilagay yung trail stop mo? Once it gets hit, then you sell. That's very, very basic thing that you need to understand when you are trading. Okay? Pag na-hit, o oh, sabi ni ano, Fritz Angeles, pag na-hit yung sell trigger, that's when you sell. Alright? Shout out kay Fritz. Thank you very much. Pag na-hit yung sell trigger mo, doon ka masasell. Alright? And we also don't recommend Sell when happy. <laughs> Wala yan sa methodology namin, guys. Now you sell when happy. Okay? Um, because we are technical traders and based from our methodology, uh, emotions can uh, F you up. 
Okay? If you're happy or sad when doing your execution, it will F you up when when you're you know when you're trading. So sell when your sell trigger gets hit, whether you're using target prices or trail stuff for it. All right. So there's that. Any other stuff that's interesting? CTS, I think, would CTS is very alive. Um major movement. So right now, uh, those are the stocks that we're looking at. Ang dami natin tinitignan on a reverse ang reversing market. So um, like I mentioned, wala pa akong nakikitang leader aside from ABBA. I am not sure yet uh, what ABBA is going to be doing. Uh, all we need to do is just react kung anong yung gagawin niya. So I think there's that. Um, ilang ba viewers natin for today, Tech? Umabot ba tayo ng 100? Hopefully, umabot tayo ng 100. No, hindi pa tayo bumababa ng 100. Ayan, 107. Thank you very much, guys, for giving your time. Monday, I know it's Monday. Um, um, and um, hopefully, you're, you're gonna have a great weekend. So, ganun lang, guys. Uh, we're gonna continue searching for the next leader, especially for people or students we have na andun sa Trading Republic. Um, you know, abang-abang lang and, and we're gonna update um, our quants. May quants din tayo doon to see kung sino ba yung leader. Uh, I think mag-update na din si uh, Coach uh, Cosmos sa quants. If you're inside Trading Republic, check out the quants channel, guys. Doon ina-update, I think, every day, end of day, kung ano yung magiging priority na um, and again inside trading republic we're actually doing a, a improve improvised screen wala wala pa pa lang updated na ano so so far aba pa rin yung number 1 guys based from the last update no uh, September 10 so maybe later makita natin yan Anyways, there's that. Thank you very much, guys, for giving us your time. Um, I'll be seeing you guys by next week, same time, Monday, 3 p.m. That would be charting session, FGD with 2 Trade Asia and uh, ZFT. So, guys, have a great weekend, trading weekend. Stay safe. This is this has been your host, you delicious. Stay delicious, guys. Have a good one. Bye. Gusto mo bang mag-invest sa stock market pero hindi mo alam kung papaano? We got you! Join our monthly online class now and pwede ka na mag-start mag-invest for as low as 10,000 pesos. This is totally free for everyone. Start your investment journey with us. Click down below to register for free.